Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster Perfect Stats Guide. Alright, so uh, we are going to go grab Gogo -Go next. Uh, I really like Gogo. -Go. Um, I think uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the previous times I had played the game, I, I didn't really use him that much. And boy, he's, uh, he's really good. Uh, the, the real problem with Gogo -Go is that... Uh, his, he, you know, he can't ever equip espers, and so his stats remain, you know, pretty, pretty garbage, honestly. But uh, the the reason why he's good, though, I think, is is because of his utility. He he can just do, you know, so many different things that uh, I think it's it's fantastic. So uh, what I usually do with him, and this looks a little goofy. I you know, okay, so I took Celeste out so that I could take Gogo -Go with me. I don't really know if I needed to do that, but. I didn't actually plan on doing any real combat anyway, but uh, anyway, so you have to come to this island here where the zone the zone eater is found at, and uh, and basically it inhales you, and uh, and then there's kind of a dungeon, you know, inside of it, which is I don't know I thought I always thought was pretty cool, but um, yeah. Anyway, uh, as far as Gogo -Go, uh, goes. <laughs> Uh, I I like to put tools on him uh, specifically because of the debilitator. I, I actually have really grown to like that tool more, uh, you know, in, in recent playthroughs. Uh, you know, it, it's it's able to add an elemental weakness to your enemies, and that really comes in handy. Uh, so, uh, anyways, let's uh, we're going to grab all the treasures in here, and of course, I jumped right in front of that guy. Uh, and they push you down to the bottom. You at least want to, you know, get thrown down here at least once. Uh, and you can you can pick up the red jacket there. I really really like the red jacket. Uh, I believe it nullifies uh, fire damage, which is uh, which is really nice. Uh, specifically, I think for Saban, I think that's I think that's Saban's best armor actually. Uh, there's two of them in the game. Uh, one of them you, we won't get until way, way later, though. But uh, again, I actually think that that's I think that's probably Sabin's best uh, piece of armor. Um, and so there's a lot of enemies, you know, that will use fire damage. And um, I think that you know, being able to completely nullify it is uh, is fantastic. And you know. You know, there's other things like the flame shield that will that will uh, you know be able to actually absorb fire damage, which makes you know a flame say a flame shield a little bit better. But there's also a lot of battles where you kind of want m more than one type of elemental protection, and so the fact that you can have that uh, you know nullifying the fire damage, well, that means that you can equip something else in your shield slot, like a like a thunder shield, for instance, and uh, and thus we would be able to. Uh, Actually, that might not be a, uh, the greatest example because I think the Thunder Shield. Oh, now I can't remember. Thunder Shield does something for the. Um, I'm gonna actually check that out. Uh, it does something for fire damage as well. It might have it. We'll see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Jesus. I'm just uh, insisting on jumping right in front of these guys. But uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, the. Uh, I don't know. I, I just really like the uh, I like that red jacket. <laughs> I think that most of it though is I I think Sabin might and I, I don't wanna I don't wanna I'm not sure about this, but I think Sabin might have the worst gear choices in the entire game. Um, I'm just trying to think if anybody else, anybody has even you know slightly worse, but I don't know. I don't know. I think he might be. Anyways. Uh, so that at least helps him out, though, in, in, in kind of covering for some of his gear issues. But, uh, alright, let me just see here. Thunder Shield. Have, yeah, Habs, Fire, and, uh, and Ice. Thunder Shield, yeah, so, um, yeah, you know, that's, you know, it still is then a good pair, you know, for, like, the Thunder Shield and the, uh, and the Red Jacket together. But, uh, all right, so, uh, moving on here. Oh, did I already run through the, the collapsing uh, idea, didn't I? Well, that was fast. Uh, of course, I missed that. Basically, the uh, most of the, I think, at least two of the treasure chests in that previous room kind of mark where the safe zones are at. 
So the first one, you know, you just run up to the chest and sit there until the, the like, ceiling raises back up. Uh, and then you can run to the second chest and kind of do the same thing. And then uh, go all the way to the third sh chest. But I don't know if the third chest has a safe zone right in front of it. So then you just want to run right down to the bottom and into the next area. But um, All right, so this is it. This is Gogo, uh, the master of mimicry. So, you know, not only not only does he have, like, I like him for th his, you know, ability to use tools, but I also really like him to steal, uh, and then his mimic ability is amazing as well. You know, mimic allows you to basically repeat the, the exact action of whoever acted before him, and, uh, you know... You know, if you if you try to cast like Ultima or something with him, he's not going to do as much damage really as as most of the other characters because his magic stat isn't as good. But um, it's still you know very very uh, useful, and especially if you've got like the Ragnarok Esper, uh, you can cast Ragnarok with one of your other characters, and then mimic with Gogo, and then basically defend with everybody else, and then defend with the original caster, and you can just keep mimicking it until it's successful. It's it's crazy. Uh, and, and really, really useful. Again, if you if you take that uh, that Esper. But here, I'm just going to set him up. Like I said, I usually go Steel, Tools, and then Magic. And, um, yeah, I, I really like that setup. So, like, the Tools, you know, like the Debilitator, it doesn't matter that his stats aren't great for that. You know, it will matter with, like, you know, Flash or any of the other ones. But, but also Steel. Steel goes right off of your level. Uh, or I should say success rates of Steel just work off of your level. So... It doesn't really matter that his stats aren't so great. But uh, also, uh, Gogo does always join at your average party level plus two, uh, but he's not going to affect uh, the levels of anybody that we recruit afterwards because our levels are still so close that those two levels that he's got uh, is not going to bump up our average. So uh, anyways, that's all the time I've got for this one. As always, hope the guide was helpful. Thanks for watching.